Hey everyone, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. In this video, I'm going to show how easy it is to set up the GHL ProFlex Mini Wi-Fi to your home network via DHCP. So let's get started. First, you need to download the GHL Connect app and open the app on your Android or iPhone device. We're doing this so when it comes time to add the GHL device using the GHL device's hotspot through the Connect app, we don't have to wait for the GHL Connect app to go to offline mode. With your GHL Pro Flux Mini Wi-Fi powered on, we need now to join the hotspot created by the GHL Mini controller. On your iPhone or Android device, choose the Wi-Fi Pro Flux network. Sometimes, depending on when the device was booted, you may need to have to leave the Wi-Fi settings and go back in. You will see a Wi-Fi network labeled GHL Dev with some numbers after it. This is the hotspot that is created by the Pro Flux Mini. Go ahead and join that network. The device is going to ask you for a password when you join, and by default, it is Starfish with a capital S. Now that you've joined the GHL Mini, it's time to add it to the GHL Connect app. Open up the GHL Connect app and choose Add Device and select GHL Mini. Next, type in the display name that you want to appear in the GHL Connect. Once you have entered in a name, click Done. Now choose a controller that you just added in the GHL Connect and you'll be connected to that controller via the controller's hotspot. Choose the hamburger icon in the upper right hand corner and then choose Network. Since we plan to use DHCP from our home network, we need to set up the access point to allow us to reconnect to the unit's hotspot after the home network has assigned the IP address to the device so that we can see what IP address has been assigned to the device by our home network router. You're going to then set the wireless SID for the access point. For me, I'm lab labeling mine Seahorse Tank, the Wi-Fi key or password, which for me is going to be Starfish with a capital S, and then choose apply. We now need to set up the home network that we want our controller to be joined to. Enabling the client button allows you to enter your home network's wireless network information. Choose your appropriate encryption and put in your wireless home network's password. Since I'm letting my wireless home network assign the IP address, I'm going to leave the obtain IP address automatically enabled on the device. Click apply and we are now ready to apply the network settings to the device. Clicking on the save button has a warning box appear explaining that you're going to be disconnected to the device as it applies its settings. Click yes and the device will now begin the steps of creating a new hotspot and will start the process of joining your home network. With the network settings now being saved, we are going to need to rejoin the Profilux Mini's controller's hotspot that we created in the steps above to determine the IP address that was given out by our home network's router. Go ahead and reopen your Wi-Fi settings and choose the hotspot network that we configured on the controller. For me, it was Seahorse Tank and choose Join. It will ask you for the password, which is the one that we set up earlier for the access point. For me, it was Starfish with a capital S. Once joined, you will reopen the GHL Connect app and join the controller. Now that we are connected to the controller via the hotspot, we need to click on the hamburger icon once again and choose the network menu option. On the top of the window, you are going to see an IP address that was assigned to the device via our DHCP home router. Now that we know the IP that was assigned to our controller, we can go ahead and disconnect from the GHL Profilex Mini hotspot and join our home network. Once you're joined back to your home network, go to the GHL Connect app and click on the gear icon and place the IP address that was assigned to the GHL controller from our home network router.
Once applied, go ahead and click on the device. You are now joined to your device via your home network. And there you have it. The quick and easy steps on how to install your GHL Profilux Mini Wi-Fi controller via DHCP on your home network. I hope you enjoyed the quick video, and if you have questions or comments, please leave them below, or as always, you can find me on Reef to Reef. For now, this is Ditto, signing off.